Hi, my name is Paul Lotorenkel, and I'd like to show you my new install of two PLX SM EGT sensor modules. So what I've done here is I've added uh, two exhaust gas temperature sensor modules um, to my existing setup. Um, if you've seen one of my earlier videos, I installed a wideband air fuel ratio sensor on the right bank of my V10 engine and on the left bank of my V10 engine. You can see there on the bottom right of the screen. So what I've done here is I've added two more sensor modules and it took me about an hour to do today. Really simple. Um, the SMEGT or the SM uh, exhaust gas temperature sensor module comes with a K-type thermocoupler probe. So what I've done here is I've just screwed in the exhaust gas temperature probe um, here in my exhaust pipe and uh, simply just connected it to the PLX sensor module, gave it power, uh, connected a couple wires for the uh, digital daisy chain, and I'm pretty much all set. I did the same here on the left side as well. So I installed the K-type thermocoupler probe here on the left, uh, connected it to the sensor module there with that yellow um, connector connected power and connected the 3.5 millimeter jack for the digital daisy chain um, serial stream and that's pretty much it so this install took me less than an hour to do um, including you know cutting the wires and um, finding power and all of that stuff so I've got four sensor modules uh, installed here in the engine bay of my Lamborghini Gallardo and uh, it's a nice setup because I can measure the wideband air fuel ratio as well as the exhaust gas temperatures um, of both sides of my V10. Okay, I'm inside the vehicle, and here I've got two PLX DM6 multi gauges installed uh, right here in the center console. And what's nice about the setup is that whatever sensor modules that I add to the uh, the serial stream these gauges will automatically detect new sensor modules without having to do any setup at all so all I need to do is just turn on the gauge and it should detect my new sensor modules right away okay so the gauge is booting and then it's going to detect the uh, the sensor module so there um, they're showing the exhaust gas temperature one and two those are my new sensor modules that I just installed um, I've set it up to show Celsius so the right bank of the V10 actually is measuring 200 degrees Celsius uh, left bank is measuring you know about 200 degrees Celsius so let me start the car up and just to show you uh, the DM6's in action with the exhaust gas temperature readings <laughs> Okay, so the DM6s have started up. Uh, as you can see, the EGTs are rising uh, as I rev my engine here. And um, it's pretty much th that simple. I can toggle between my four sensor modules now. So pressing this button here, that is, that's now reading the wideband air fuel ratio 2, which is my left bank. That is reading my exhaust gas temperature 2, which is also my left bank and then it just loops back around to show my wideband air fuel ratio on my right bank which is the AFR1 and then EGT1 as well so I can switch between all four of my sensor modules just by touching this button here and of course this one tells you you know different styles and formats of that same data and if you're curious about what unit of measurement you're on um, you press this button so let's say here I'm on EGT1 and there I am I'm on Celsius so if you forgot what setting you're at you just press this button you know exactly what unit of measurement you're on so same goes with the other gauge and I'm just using that to show my right and the left bank of the V10 uh, really convenient I love it um, it's been working great and um, yeah thanks for watching